Hi, my name is Rick Johnston, and I'm a research scientist at EAVAG, the Swiss Federal Institute of Aquatic Science and Technology. My specialty is drinking water quality, and I work in the Department of Water and Sanitation in Developing Countries, known as SANDEC. SANDEC is partnering with EPFL to develop a series of online courses, or MOOCs, and this is the first one. It's an introduction to household water treatment and safe storage. Now, why would you care about treating water at the household level? Maybe you work with water providers in a region that doesn't yet have reliable, safe water supply? Or maybe you're involved with emergency response and need short-term solutions for treating water while public supplies are out of commission? Or maybe you work with people who are particularly vulnerable to diarrheal disease, such as people living with HIV-AIDS. Or perhaps you're a researcher interested in developing and improving solutions for situations like these. This course is an introduction. There's no particular technical or scientific background required. We're mainly targeting students at a graduate or postgraduate level, but really the only course requirement is an interest in drinking water quality. In this course, we will learn about the different pathogens that can cause disease in drinking water, from the very large to the very small. We will discuss different pathways that can cause people to be exposed to those pathogens and how those pathways can be blocked. We will also examine the burden of disease caused by unsafe water, as well as the related problems of poor sanitation and hygiene. Household water treatment can remove or kill pathogens in drinking water and so interrupt the transmission of waterborne diseases. Household water treatment is practiced by millions, even billions, of people around the world. In this course, you will learn about the different ways that water can be treated at the household level, including advantages and disadvantages of each treatment process. We will examine the roles that can be played by non-governmental organizations, by the private sector, and by government bodies. We'll hear from people with expertise on reaching those affected by natural disasters, or in reaching out to people suffering from serious diseases, or even women planning to expand their families. And you'll get to find out what this innovative device is and how it works. I hope you'll join me for this short course to learn more about household water treatment and how it can be applied around the world. And if you are working on water supply, I want to learn from you, especially if you've been involved in household water treatment. Please share your experiences with me and with the other students in the course. I look forward to working with you.